So I just scheduled an appointment on your calendar. Mm -hmm. um, you'll be able to click on my calendars to the left, mm -hmm. agenda, and then you'll see your a list of all your appointments. But again, that's the reason why I use Google Calendar because right before 11 a.m., you know, a minute before, 10 minutes before, I'll get a Google notification. But with Kartra, you don't get a notification. So you have to just have your calendar up. You have to be the, in the agenda. You have to know about these appointments coming up because you're not getting a notification. Now, the lead, they get a notification. So the lead will actually receive an email, you know, and, and those emails are in here. So if you click on my calendar, you click on the dots, you click on edit, you come over here, that email reminder is over here and you can customize it, which you're gonna wanna customize it. So this is how you get to it. So you click on my calendars and then you come over here. This is the first basic info. You scroll down, save and next. Oh, hold on, hold on. What is this? Where are we? Right here, my calendars, right yes, here to the left. Yes, yes. But what is it? What is it doing? What is it? This is how you set up your calendar. This is all the settings of your calendar. Okay. Hours when you're available. This is the settings of your calendar. Okay. Okay. How so, about the one you just, right? There's a top of it with a logo. What is that? Where you can put your logo. Okay. So if you have a logo, you can, you could put your logo right there. So that's why you're going to want to get on these, on these trainings every okay. Tuesday and Thursday, because you have to learn this stuff. Um, okay. And if right I, here, don't, I can just put my name. If my name is a logo, I can put. Yeah, for there. sure. You can okay. go to Canva and just make it 250 by 50. And, and that can go right there. That could be your name for sure. And then you just oh, hit okay. save. Yes. And then you can, you can customize the image over here. You can put a different image. You go to Canva and just do 1920 by 350. Oh, it has, um, it has, um, oh. Yeah, okay. that's why you got to go in here and just start clicking around and just okay. start playing around with everything. Okay. Um, and then you can upload your image right there. You can change the word, the verbiage right there. Um, and then you just click save. You got to always click save. If you see a green button up here, save, you got to always click it or else you're not going to proceed to the next page. This right here, save and next, you won't be able to save and next if you don't click save. So each section, right now we're in basic info. We clicked on my calendars. We're now, we click now the three dots. We come into edit and now we can edit our calendar. So now I'm in the basic info. That's the logo. That's the, the, the image in the background, which is, which is this one over here. Actually, it was that other image. I love is, this one. Yeah, which is this one right here. Um, the custom marquee. So if I click change, there's that image of your calendar. So you can always change that, click okay. save, and then the time zone, just let your users select their respective time zone, leave that as is, save and next. And then change over here, I can change the title, I can change the description, um, leave your name right here, leave zero. This allows people to schedule on the hour. So you can also have people schedule every five minutes. You can have people schedule every 15 minutes, but I leave it on the hour. I don't want people scheduling every 15 minutes. So, but it depends on you. If you have short calls, you know, you can maybe do every 15 minutes. Someone can schedule another appointment. My calls are about an hour. So I schedule by the hour. But you know, is, so. it, um, is it, is it, um, what do I call it? Is it really like, like if my call, that depends. Like, can I have two different color? In other words, say if I have a product, right? Mm -hmm. Like say, um, people that are coming for their feedback mm -hmm. and I'm selling that's only $27 or $47. Mm -hmm. would they, and I put it out, Hey, this is this for this. Um, click here and it will put them to a schedule. Is this still this schedule or a different schedule? It could be this calendar. You can set up a different calendar for that. Yes. Okay. Because so yeah, you can have multiple calendars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 okay. I'll, I will think about that one because that's what I will have to need. Okay. Okay. So then you can change the hours. You can do all that here. Um, don't allow same day booking. You can, you can have this right here. Don't allow bookings for today or tomorrow. Don't allow bookings within the next two days. So if you're busy going on a, on a, on a trip, you can, you can come over here and customize your calendar. Don't allow bookings within the next five days. So I normally keep it on don't allow same day booking, but you can have no minimum booking notice and, al and allow people to schedule whenever they want. But if I put don't allow the same day booking. Yeah, that's that. Okay. So then, 
Um, and then down here, this is the form. So now we're at the bottom. So look, I cannot save a next unless I click the green button. Just remember, whenever you see a green button, you gotta click it. Okay, save a next. And then the communications, this is um, email confirmation and reminder. So you're gonna come over here, hit change. Yes, communicate with your users. And this right here is the email that's gonna go out. So when they schedule an appointment, they're gonna receive this, they're gonna receive an email, which is a booking confirmation. Just like when, when I schedule an appointment with you on my calendar, mm -hmm. you get a booking confirmation. And then an hour before our call today, you also receive another email reminder, right? An mm -hmm. hour before. So those emails, the booking confirmation that you did the first day you scheduled, and then the email reminder that you received an hour ago. Mm -hmm. That's coming from my business email. So this is your business email, the one that, that we set up. So it's coming from that. And then this is where the booking confirmation is edited. So you're gonna to wanna to come in here. So again, we're in my calendars. I clicked the three dots, I clicked on edit, and now I'm in each section of the calendar editing. So the emails are gonna come from this, and there's only two emails that are gonna go out, a booking confirmation and an email reminder. So we chose over here, we chose yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, communicate with your user. Mm -hmm. So that allows this to booking confirmation and the email reminder to come up. So now I'm gonna hit change. I'm gonna put yes, send a booking confirmation, and I'm gonna edit that email. So now over here, this is the email that they would receive. But I can come over here and I can edit all of this stuff. So I can, I can write whatever I want and I can edit all this stuff right here. So over here, first name, I like to use their first name for everything. You know, congratulations, I'll copy their first name, copy the parentheses and everything, copy the whole thing, mm -hmm. copy it, and then bring it over here and paste it. And it's control okay. V, control V on a, do you have a PC or do you have a Mac? Mac. Okay, so on Mac, I don't know what paste is, but on PC, it's control V. So congratulations, Stacy, your calendar booking is confirmed. You know, so, so I can do that. Um, and then so, down here. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. This over here could go down right after chat soon. All these things, what are they? This calendar page or whatever is it? That you can delete. But this event, uh -huh. so again, the parentheses, uh -huh. those are called dynamic variables. Okay. So the event is 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 just gonna be a uh, the the list of the of the calendar. So strategy call, for example. Oh, okay, okay. And then it's gonna be hosted by the calendar okay. coach, was, which is your name. Okay. And then the okay. next appointment is going to be the appointment they scheduled. Okay. okay. So, so you can leave that and then just write, you know, anything at the bottom, you know, Christy. So you can write whatever you want. And okay. then also on the emails, you can come over here to advanced and you can come down and design templates, full templates. And Karcher has all these templates that you can use. So I can just grab a template, any template, and I can just click, drag it over. You gotta drop your block. So whenever you see a box, drop your block, that's where you drop it. You drop it, and now I have a full-blown template that I can just work around. I can edit the headline, I can put my image, I can put anything I want, I can delete it. So if I don't want this down here, I can delete it. And then I can just use the bottom for the, for the social media icons. I can come up here and I can, I can change this, um, this blue. So let's say I wanna change the blue. You'll see it right there, the circle. If I wanna change that blue to my purple, I can go there, there's my purple. I can change this blue down here. If I wanna change it to my purple, there's my purple, click that. How does he know it's my pop? Oh, somebody must have. Because I saved it. No, I saved it for oh, you. Oh, okay. I was like, that's my color. Yeah, I saved it. I saved it for you. So now on any email or on any page, your purple is saved. You just go right there. Oh, that's my orange. Yeah, I know. I saved your orange too. Oh. So, so now you can build this out. So if I want to change the zero to one, the zero one, actually, I can't change the color of that. But um, I, yeah, actually I can, I can change it. I can change it right here, but I won't be able to change it to your purple. 
you have to change it to, to any of these colors, the text colors. So I can change it to maybe this purple right here, but I have, I have to use that color. But on these other ones, I can use the color code and, and that's your exact co color code. So, so in here, what you do in this template is a letter. Is this on? This is, this is just an email. Like I can make this whatever I want. Like I, it's just a template. And send it to somebody? Yeah, this is the email. Okay, so, and you're talking about like when after I get the leads and then like regular customers and then I'll start sending them stuff. Is that what This is where your email, your, your, well, first of all, in this case, this is your, your email confirmation. So when someone schedules an appointment, this is the confirmation. This is the email that's going to go out to them. Hey, John, thank you so much for scheduling. But okay. I'm just showing you different templates. Okay, like, exactly, you can just exactly. use different templates. I don't know, I'm gonna make it fancy. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to make it fancy at all. So save and then the email reminder. Yes, send out a reminder. Here's the new reminder. And and we want this email reminder to go out one hour prior to the to the event, to the to the appointment. So you can reword this. You could put their first name in the subject line, copy, and I can go, I can go uh, paste. Stacy, our appointment is in an hour. Our appointment is in one hour. That's so I can customize this. This is the email. So this is the no notification that's going out an hour before our appointment. You know, so, and I can, I can reword all this. You can customize all this stuff. So okay. this, okay. I save, that's the email that's gonna go out. I hit save, save and next. And then, and then session approval or session, cance session cancellation, yes, allow cancellations, leave that as is, session approval, instant approval. So if they go to your calendar and there's a slot open, let them schedule it. You don't wanna manually have to ma approve anything. Customer support, you don't need that. Automations over here, this is where I would sync it with my Google Calendar, but in your case, we're not gonna do it. So I put no, save, oh, okay. and then anyone who schedules an appointment will go onto that list. And then, um, and then, and then, and then that's it. So you don't need any of that right now. And then there goes your link. So we'll have to continue tomorrow, Christy, because I got to go make dinner for my little daughter because I'm with her alone. So um, I'll be available tomorrow if you're available tomorrow morning. Uh, what time, please? So that um, I'll try to uh, do one more video. Let's well, um, let's schedule it real quick right now. Let me see what what I have open tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty open tomorrow. You are a good dad. I love when men take care of you. Yeah, dad. I gotta I gotta go make her some oatmeal real quick because she's already had dinner. But then I kind of give her a little bit of oatmeal before she goes to bed, just so she you know a little bit more fuller. How old is she? She's two. Oh. Yes, she's two. This By is the way, um, your son is so you know, handsome. I actually. I, I, I posted a picture on my Facebook yesterday. This is my little daughter and this is my little, my little boy. I have a 12 year old son. Um, I have a 12 year old son and he's been, he's, you know, the most amazing thing ever. But then now I have these two little ones and this, this is, this is them right here. So this, this is my little daughter. That's Cassandra. She looks like mom. And then this is my little boy. That's Caden. <laughs> But we named her Chunks. His nickname is Chunk. <laughs> he's so fat. You guys don't, don't overfeed this boy, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's Cassandra and Caden. And that was her little, that's her little doll stroller. But she thought her little brother was a doll. So she <laughs> wanted to put him in there. And he doesn't even fit it. You know? No, that's too tight for the baby. Yeah, it's too tight. Too tight. So I got to go make her oatmeal real quick. Okay, but But this is my time. schedule. I'm I'm available oh. eight nine ten eleven or or twelve. Okay, tomorrow. I'll do it now. Yeah, schedule that. Schedule that, or actually, I'll just do it right now for you. What time? Um, as early as possible. It's okay, let's do time. let's do eight. Okay. Okay, Christy, and then I W U C H, and then what what email? Uh, Christy, uh, that one. What is it? Christy at women's womenspeaker.com. Uh-huh. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, Christy. So that's your calendar. Um, work on another video and then we'll knock that out tomorrow. Okay. And so then you will be setting um, the... Uh, the emails. I'll set up all those emails for you in the sequence. 
Okay. I will. But, I'm... but, but what you did is you sent the, t you sent everything to me in the chat. If you can email me all that. So just copy it again, like you did and just email it to me. Okay. I will. Please. Okay. Thank cool. you. Okay, Christy. Bye -bye. Okay. God bless. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.